Welcome to this edition of the Wispy Mop Music Gear Review. I'm your host, Todd, middle initial C. Walker. Yes, that's right, it's me. And you are looking at a Crossrock fiberglass acoustic guitar case. This is beautiful. Did I mention it's yellow? The Crossrock cases, the fiberglass line, come in a bunch of different colors. I also own a blue one, a little earlier version. This is the CRF 2020D, D standing for Dreadnought. My two guitars back there are Dreadnoughts, YL. YL stands for yellow. My blue one is a 1000 series, which has been discontinued, and this is the improved version. Both wonderful cases, this one just a little bit better. Crossrock Cases makes cases for guitars, acoustic guitars, classical, and what you would call dreadnought or bluegrassy guitars or folk guitars. They also make them for ukuleles, banjos, and stringed instruments. So check out the entire line at crossrockcase.com. Now let's take a little closer look at this thing. The first thing I want you to do is listen. Hear that? These clasps are high quality steel. They fit really snug. So many guitar cases that I have owned, the clasps barely catch. In fact, I have one where when you close it, it just falls open. So they've, they've made sure that they use high quality clasps. The other thing is the handle on this particular case in all their cases is real leather and it's very, very solid. It doesn't have much play in it. I install K and K pickups in other people's guitars and in all of mine. So many times I have people drop off their case, their guitars in cases that have been abused. When I say abused, they didn't really abuse them. They just look like they did. Broken clasps, broken handles, all torn up and scuffed up. You wouldn't have that much of a problem with one of these fiberglass cases. Now, will the coating scratch? Yes, this is a gel coat over fiberglass. It's nice and shiny when it's new. If this falls over on asphalt and gets slid, it's going to scratch it. Nothing you can do about that. I'm sure the carbon case doesn't scratch quite as easily, but minor. So let's look at the inside. First of all, we've mentioned the clasp, we've mentioned the handle. What you can't see is this black plastic here, both top and bottom. What that is, is the top is kind of like a channeled. The bottom is just a piece. So when you close the case, that bottom piece goes right up into that channel and creates a waterproof seal. So this is a waterproof case. It also is really good for your guitar because that way you can control the humidity, relative humidity of the guitar in the case using some sort of a humidipack system or a damp it, whatever you like to use. Now, inside the case when you receive it is going to be this really cool thing, which is a piece of the foam covered in the same nice satiny velour. What that's for is not every guitar is of the same dimension as someone else's manufactured guitar. Both of my dreadnoughts that I have behind me fit very snugly in this Crossrock case. I have two other dreadnoughts which are slightly smaller in shape than these are. What this is for is when you put that slightly smaller guitar in there, this goes along the lower bout, now you've got a snug fit. You don't want the guitar to be moving around anywhere. The other thing you get inside the case when you receive it is this little pouch. I originally thought it was like a little gig bag they were sending you. But what it is, is these are the straps that you can put on the case. You've got these spots here and on the sides where you can turn it into a backpack. If you have a gig, and I do many times where I'm a solo performer, it's in a restaurant or a small room, I don't need a big PA system. What I need is a mic stand, a little acoustic guitar amplifier, my gig bag with all my gizmos, and my guitar. Well, by putting the guitar on my back, now I have enough hands to carry all that equipment so I make one trip to the car, I mean from the car to the venue, and from the venue back to the car. Saves multiple trips. Now on the inside you've got a nice little compartment here to put your picks and your capos and straps, things like that. The padding in this is a nice foam. It's not really memory foam, but it's also not that hard styrofoam that so many guitar cases have, which I'm sure protects really, really well, but this has a little bit of give to it. 
Again, it makes it a little bit easier to get the guitar in and out of the case. The, if you notice around, and I don't know if you can see this on the camera, on both the inside bottom of the case and on the top, around the edges, the foam is thicker than it is in the center. Now think about an acoustic guitar. You've got a top and you have a bottom. They're like drum heads. What holds them together is the sides. That's where the strength is, top to bottom. So many acoustic guitar cases have a piece of foam that's kind of ridged right down the center. And when you open your guitar case, you see the imprint of your saddle, your bridge, your string, your pins, and your strings, because that's where the pressure is. Well, that's one of the weakest parts of the guitar. So why do that? Why don't you put the strength around the edges where the strength of the guitar is to really protect the top and bottom? Um, that way the, the foam doesn't touch either the bottom or the top, it just touches the edges. A really well thought out guitar case. The, they come in different colors. This obviously is yellow. They come in blue, silver, white, black, and brown. And then when you get the carbon case, which is the, the, the full-on flight case. If I was going to do heavy travel by air, the, I would get the, the carbon case. They're $999 at this point in time, which is 2021. The fiberglass, 2000, excuse me, the 2020 cases like this one, are, they retail at about $319. The, they're, they're tremendous. The reason I like the colors is it doesn't look like everybody else's guitar case. If I'm at a multi-artist show and I go backstage and I want to pick up my guitar and all the cases have been lined up by the backstage folks, I don't have to guess which one is mine and look, at, look for my you know, name card. All I do is go right to the yellow case or right to the blue case or right to the white case because everybody else's is black. The other thing that amazes me is people who play expensive guitars and my two guitars are between two and four thousand dollars behind me. I have multiple guitars in that price range. Those are my performance guitars. I want to protect those. So many guitar players who play anywhere from a two thousand to a five thousand dollar guitar keep their case in a seventy-five dollar case. Nothing wrong with those cases for daily use around the house, or maybe if you're going to a friend's house. But for heavy gigging, for for a performing artist like myself, I want something that's going to protect the guitar the best way possible. That's why I have switched over to Crossrock cases. As they say, protecting your instrument is in our DNA. Crossrockcase.com. Phenomenal cases. I love mine. Maybe you love yours too. I hope you do. Stay tuned for another edition of the Wispy Mop Music Gear Review. But for right now, get yourself a Crossrock case. Thanks.